All right, today we're going to be looking at a Synology um, 8 bay. Um, as you can see, we have two uh, drives that are in the warning um, phase, which means that there's probably a couple of bad sectors, and it's probably a good idea to replace um, that hard drive. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you on how to do that. All right, so like I said, we're going to re be replacing um, two of the drives in our Synology 8 bay, which is um, a DS1815 Plus. Um, it doesn't really matter what Synology has, as long as it's hot swappable. Um, and the good indication that you can tell if it's hot swappable or not is they have these drive uh, bays that you just push in and then they pop right out. Um, this one is a DS1415 and you can see it's got a cover on it and you open it up and it's not really hot swappable. So you want to power off uh, these types of Synologies, but these ones are hot swappable, so you can just pop the drive out, pop in the new one, and it'll start creating the array again. So let's go ahead and we're going to do drive three, because uh, drive three is the one that had the most bad sectors first. So you want to do the worst drive first. Um, so we're going to pop this out and we're going to put the new drive in it. Alright, so we, had, we took that drive out, that third drive. So we're going to go ahead and pop off the sides here, take those two things off. Take out the old hard drive, and then you're going to want to open up your new one, of course. We have a new uh, three terabyte drive. Make sure it is a W uh, red drive. You want to make sure it is a NAS um, ready drive. You don't want to use the, the desktop version. I've seen people do that, and it works, but if you want the best performance and how long they last, you're going to want to use um, a WD red drive and not like a blue or a black. So those just get popped right back in. And then we can go ahead and slide that puppy right back into place. And your Synology will beep, um, but you're gonna see that turn green. We're gonna go back to my desk now and we're gonna um, do a smart check and then we can recreate it onto the array. All right. All right, so we're back at our computer. You wanna go to start and then you go to storage manager when storage manager comes up, you're gonna hit hard drive and SSD. Once that shows up, we're gonna go to disk three because that's the disk that we just replaced. And then you're gonna click on health info, go to smart test, and then we can just do a quick test. And some people like doing the extended, but start test is, will be just quicker. So we just hit start, hit yes. And what this is gonna do is verify that there's no bad sectors already on that drive. Um, and it's just going to verify that this is actually workable and, and clean and, and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and add it to the array. So while that's going, we're going to go ahead and pause because this is going to take a good couple minutes, probably 5 to 15 minutes, depending on uh, what drive size you have. Um, so we'll be right back. All right, so once that quick test comes back and it gives you that normal status, um, then we're ready to move on to step two. So we can close out of that. Now, once you get that status done, now we need to go to volume and then make sure it's still in degrade performance. Once you see that, then go to storage pools. And then in storage pools, you're gonna hit the drop down to action and click on repair. And you're gonna see disk three, and then you hit next. And then it's gonna say, it's gonna let you know that disk three is gonna be wiped because you're gonna be adding it to the array. And then you hit apply. Now this can take a long time. This could take maybe two days. It just really depends on how much storage you actually have. Um, so once that's done, your Synology should stop beeping like it, mine just did. And then, like I said, this is gonna this could take a long time. So just let it run. Once it's done, then you can go to disk number two and replace that disk. You don't want to do it all at the same time because if you do that, you're gonna lose your array and you lose all your data. So you make sure you do one drive at a time and you have to make sure the repairing uh, gets done before you do your next drive. And that's about it.